Howdy ho, Neighborinos, we are here today for the semi-final match of the PCP Pokemon Community Players. Dude, my league ran by, you know, me and the homie Cowpat and Doom Shroom, and wouldn't you know it, our opponent today, CB Marcus and his Rose City Roselias. Now, um, see, here's the thing, right? So CB had quite a team. We played earlier in the season, and we barely won, dude. So, now, he's gone, and, um... Just look at his team. Okay, if you happen, just tell me if you notice anything about it. It's on the screen. Look. See, like all creamy, it's got a layer It's all steel, fairy, and dragon types. This motherfucker drafted in the redraft only steels, only fairies, and only dragon types. Holy shit. The fact that this man has made the semifinals with only doing the one core is fucking hilarious dude fucking shout out to Marcus for cuz in PCP you know we're about memes and dreams you know and uh, if there's no bigger fucking meme than just only doing the one core you know and I believe his account is even a uh, core dude on showdown which is just fucking hilarious dude so I'm excited to play him again uh, you guys know I'm not the best at rematches but since now he has a different team and it's all Steel Fairies and Dragons, well, I'm feeling a little confident at least, right? So, let's get into the team. Um, this was a weird game because it was, you know, PCP's our league and we, it's fun. We have a silly fucking time and whatnot. But um, it didn't really feel like a playoff match. Like, I don't know. I was way more scared playing Sky than I was going into this game. It was fucking weird, man. I don't know. So, um, basically, the threats that I'm looking at... Uh, I think a uh, young uh, Houndoom can kind of just win the whole game, basically late game. So what I'll need to do is make sure that uh, Zygarde gets chipped down. I need to make sure that, uh, what's it called, if Lottie is Scarf, we can knock that off or we can glare it or something, you know. And then to make sure that I don't lose to a fucking uh, plus six Slurpuff, you know, he's done that several times over the course of the season. So... Um, we do have just regular old Santa Conda with the leftovers with the shed skin, rest, rock slide, earthquake, and glare. Uh, I just I need the reliable recovery. I need to be able to glare things. I need to be able to get up rocks and keep them up, and then you know just earthquake and whatnot. So I can earthquake everything on his team except for the Lottie. And if Lottie gets glared, that's good for me, dude. So I don't necessarily hate that matchup, and I think it can. Uh, it'll probably, dude. That's that's his his, his earthquake switch in right. So glare is gonna have to come out. And we'll see, you know. Then we have a Swift Swim, obviously, a Bear Scuda with the Life Orb, Ice Fang, Liquidation, Poison Jab, Drill Run. This boy is basically just here to fucking revenge shit. So it, can just, it doesn't really, like, it has the coverage moves it needs, but it doesn't really punch the biggest hole in his team because some, because some of his stuff is just so bulky, dude. Like, uh, I had trouble with running either Crunch over Ice Fang or stuff like that because, like, whatever four coverage moves I put... One thing, one of his big old threats of a dragon or a steel type was scary, you know? So, uh, we ended up going with Drill Run because that hits all the steel types as well as times four on the Magnezone and then Ice Fang, which hits the Zygarde, which is scary, dude. People people forget about Zygarde. And it, me, I am people. You know, Zygarde was the big, bad fucking monster of last gen, and now everybody's all worried about other things. But this man has Zygarde, and I can't sleep on that motherfucker, you know? So definitely wanted to put Ice Fang on this guy. Ice <laughs> Fang, because I'm just going to fucking spit all over everything. Um, then we have a Rocky Helmet Jellicent. Just Scald, Strength Sap, Icy Wind, Toxic. I read those all out of order. Fuck it. And basically the point with this guy is just to be able to stay as healthy as possible. If uh, Zygarde does come in and it wants to Dragon Dance in front of me, I can lower its speed or I can lower its attack, depending on what I think is more important at the time. We can get Toxics off on everything that isn't a Steel type, and then we can Scald the Steel, the steel types, and everything should be all fine and dandy. Next, we have a Heavy Duty Boots Rabombi with Hidden Power Fire, Moonblast, Quiver Dance, and Roost. This thing, I believe, is going to be the win con. This thing absolutely destroys him. Nothing on his team wants to deal with this once it's boosted up. Well, if I get to plus two, it might just be game over. Straight up, dude. So, um, barring resist berries and whatnot, this thing can just straight up destroy him. Uh, I need to make sure that I can get it in a favor favorable position. I need to make sure that something like, uh, like if I can get in versus Lottie or Gudra, if it didn't have the proper uh, moves to hit me, that'll be fantastic. I just need to set it up properly. Then we have Hitmonlee, and this boy's basically here uh, to not only wall break, but also I definitely need to spin support because, like, 
Looking at his team, dude, there's going to be a lot of switches. His team's fat as shit, so there's not a lot of stuff I can do to deal with some of it. So, knock off, bullet punch, close combat, spin. Bullet punch just to make sure, like I said, we don't lose to that Slurpuff if it gets a plus six and gets some burden boost. And then knock off is good for, you know, just knocking off items. He's got Lottie and uh, Jirachi and whatnot. Close combat does dick loads of damage. This is adamant, dude. Last but not least, we have uh, Houndoom, Mega Houndoom, with the Flame Charge, Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, and Fire Blast. So basically, this hits fucking almost everything on his team super effectively. The things that it doesn't hit super effectively are still going to take a big old chunk and funk from a Dark Pulse. Uh, yeah, dude, so like, if I can get this in versus something that's relatively weakened, like, you know, maybe like a 10-20% Jirachi, I can go for the Flame Charge, get boosted up, and then... If I don't take any damage, I'm out of range of, like, if I take, like, rocks and a little bit of chip or something, I'm in range of, like, a bandit E-speed, which is unfortunate. However, um, if I don't, and hopefully I won't because we have the spins, then I can, uh, I can just start clicking buttons, dude. Flame charge up and click some buttons. And there's nothing I've ever wanted to do more than flame charge up and click some fucking buttons, right? So, um, that's gonna be the team. Like I said, this, this, this was weird because I immediately built this team, didn't change a single thing right after my game versus sky i was feeling hype i was feeling the team i was like let's do this right now and then i was like yo marcus let's play like whenever you're ready and then it was like one of those things where we ended up playing like way later in the week than i expected us to i was hype i was ready to go and then we ended up playing on like thursday and then i got the fucking flu and i had to play on like sunday or monday i think or something like that so fucking i shouldn't have built this early in the week because then i had to go back through and be like what the fuck what did this do you know so um, let's get into this battle, dude. We're going up against the fucking core dude himself. <laughs> United States Marnie Corps. Core, sorry, versus the core dude. We both got the core dude, you, and you know how it be. So he's got double psychic, he's got triple dragon, and he's got one fairy type. So, uh, sticky webs are scary, obviously. Um, a scavalier, if it's Akaberry, is a problem. And then we gotta figure out if Jirachi's gonna be Scarf. We gotta figure out uh, exactly what Latias is. Gudra, I could see being AV, because it kind of does deal with a lot of my team. And then Zygarde, has been, he's been bringing Banded Zygarde like so often, I was pretty sure that's going to be Banded. So let's get into it. I am just going to lead with the uh, Nostral here. I'm going to get off an Earthquake, kind of see what his spread is. He goes for the knockoff. RIP my leftovers turn one, right? We see he does have a pretty good amount of Fizz Def. So now he's going to go into Lottie on my Stealth Rock. Cool. He goes for the Ice Beam. I'm just bulky enough to live, and I can go for the Glare. Cool. Now I'm going to go for the rest. And he defogs away my rocks. So we kind of see that this is like defog Lottie, bulky, maybe like Bolt Beam, Bolt Beam Psychic Move, or Bolt Beam Draco, or something like that. So he's going to go out into Gudra. And one thing I didn't realize about Gudra, now it's burned, which is fucking unfortunate because I can't Toxic it. And then also, I can't go for Strength Sap versus Gudra because it's going to have Sap Sipper. And I never actually found out if it's Sap Sipper, I don't think. But. That's probably the ability you bring, especially to someone with a Kartana, you know? So that's unfortunate. He's going to get the Ice Beam off. He's going to do a titload of damage as I get my rocks up. He's just going to defog once again. No, he doesn't. He actually goes for the Ice Beam. So I've swapped in hard on this, which is unfortunate. And now I can just go for that Quiver Dance. I calc this, and based on the damage, this is a roll to kill. I don't know exactly his spread, but this should kill. Boom, we get the 82%. The Scavalier's done. Cool. So now he's in with Slurpuff, and I get scared because I don't want him to just bail it like... I need to save this Rabombi, right? I absolutely need to save this Rabombi. However, he knows that, right? He knows how good this is versus him. So if he just clicks a button, and uh, if he clicks the button, not a button, if he clicks uh, Belly Drum, I'm in fucking trouble. So I kind of am just in a position where I don't really have much of a choice. I kind of just have to click Moonblast. I guess, in hindsight, I could have just gone into Jellicent and hoped for the best and always had Bullet Punch in the back, got some uh, Rocky Helmet chip off on him, but that's not what I did. So, he's going to play rough and he's just going to kill me. And fucking turn 12 or 13, whatever it was, my win con is down. He has three dragons and a steel type, which I hit super effectively. I hit all of them super effectively and I threw it away. And, like, I knew in my head that I was throwing it away, but I just fucking clicked it anyways. And I don't understand what the hell was wrong with me. Like, I knew not to do that. And then I was like, yeah, fuck it. I don't know, dude. It's weird. I'm fucking stupid sometimes. So, he's going to get up his webs as I'm just going to Strength Sap. I figured he would just attack me or something, but he's going to just play rough now that he's minus attack, and I can just kill him with the Scald, so that way, uh, I guess I could have just killed him anyways, you know, but that's not what happened. 
So he's going to Thunderbolt as I'm going to go for the Icy Wind. So that way I can still outspeed him with uh, some of my other stuff. Um, and I switch out to thinking like, oh, well, I definitely need to keep this healthy to deal with Zygarde. And then I just didn't, you know, because I can't really Strength Sap and fuck, you know. So he takes out Sanaconda and things are looking rough. Now I'm going to hit Monly. I don't really mind webs too much because I do have the white up and bird and all that bullshit. He's going to switch out into Lottie. We can just go for the rapid spin. Actually, kind of does a lot, dude. Like I said, I'm adamant. I can go for the knockoff. Of course, he's going to be Colber. That's, you know, any psychic type ever. But we see he he's probably just Bolt Beam, dude, because he doesn't actually have the psychic move. So now he's going to go into Zygarde and fuck. So if he's Bandit, he kills me. He isn't he didn't click E-Speed, so I figured he just clicks Arrows, but he's D-Dance. He's D-Dance, and it looks like I might have slept on Zygarde, because I have nothing. I have to hope he chokes and clicks E-Speed. He doesn't. Bearskewed is huge, by the way. Um, Jellicent is in range, and my pupper comes out, doesn't take rocks. It lives E-Speed, however, he's definitely faster than me, and he's just going to drop a few thousand arrows on my bitch ass, and there's just nothing I can do about it. So... I felt dumb as shit during this game because there were several times where I made a play even though my brain and my gut and my balls told me not to, and I don't know, man. I just didn't fucking do it, so I don't know. I, great game to Marcus. Like At the end of the day, I probably still lost to Zygarde anyways, even if I did save the Rabombi just because if he got up a plus one, I still died to an E-Speed or whatever, so like, there's not... A lot I could do once my defensive walls went down for the Zygarde. I would have had to like glare and hope for the best and whatnot. But fuck, man, I just felt dumb as shit. I feel like I kind of threw away this whole playoffs game because like I don't know. I just didn't do what I needed to do, and I, I could I could blame the flu or something, but it's not really what happened. I just fucking didn't do the thing I needed to do, you know. And sometimes you just don't play good. Sometimes you fucking get dicked down by a plus one Zygarde. All toothpaste looking ass motherfucker. You what your scary ass, you know? <laughs> But, great game to Marcus. He's going to go on to play Brett in the finals. Now, if you guys remember, if you've been watching other people's games, um, Brett has, like, Shadow Tag Goth, Celesteela, Suicune. It's absolutely disgusting. So, we were definitely, like, fuck, man, we we're all having so much fun, and Brett's team is just so disgusting that I just really want Marcus to win, you know? So, now, especially now that I've been beat by the core dude, now I want him to win the whole thing so that at least if I have to lose playoffs, you know, at least I lost to the guy that wins the whole thing, hopefully. So, uh, Marcus actually started a channel. I'll leave it down below. I think he's had one, but he just, um, I just, you know, knew he had one, uh, recently. So I'll leave his link down below. He did say that he wanted to go and recap his whole season, which he really should because he had a great season. So, um, if he does do that, definitely check it out. But one thing I do have to say though is, uh, the redraft, honestly, dude, was fun as hell. I really enjoyed this season. It was kind of a shit show because so many people are unreliable, and I guess that's kind of how it goes being the first uh, first season in, in a new generation and whatnot. We tried to do too much at the same time, but I think the people that stuck around had a good time, and I'm glad me and all my me and all my buddies got to uh, you know dick around, and have some fun with uh, in game. I mean, not in game. The uh, the regular fucking. Uh, regular deck, Galar decks, Mons, and then with the Nat decks. And I think we learned a lot. I think we got to see what was more fun. I think we definitely still are going to keep uh, Gigantamax or Dynamax banned or whatever, but I had a good time. It was a great fucking season. Um, regular season-wise, I had the best score overall. Like, I had the, I only lost one game, so that was pretty cool. Made semifinals. Didn't do too bad, but uh, no fourth title for me, you know? So, now, I've won it three times. Pat's won it twice, and Marcus has won it once. So all we need to do is have Chris win a has have Chris win a league, and all the mods will have fucking won. And uh, I guess we're, if Chris wins, I guess we're all in collusion at that point, because then you know he just then we're just like only letting the mods win, you know. But yeah, man, it's been an absolutely fantastic season. Thank you guys all for your uh, support and whatnot. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the, beginning, in the beginning of the video, but we did hit 150 subs. So thank you guys for the support. Thanks for liking and subscribing and all that bullshit. I really do appreciate it. This has been a blast. Fucking making content is one of my favorite things in the world now. So it's cool to be able to, you know, hit, hit, a, little, hit a little baby milestone like that, right? So... I'm not going to take you guys' time anymore. Like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Like I said, check out Marcus, and hopefully he does do his, his video recap of the season. And yeah, man, that'll do it for me. Bye forever.